Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a bonus coffee cup reading for you all today because your reading this month was the most popular. I've been doing a few tea leaf readings recently on the channel, some of you might have seen those. Um, I thought I'd change it up today and do a coffee one. In fact I was guided to do a coffee one. So maybe some of you prefer coffee to tea. Let us know in the comments if you wish. Do you prefer coffee or tea? I'm just, you know, curious to know that. Um, and if more of you say coffee, then that could be a sign that I was picking up on your energy. Um, in fact, as I was making the coffee, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if Libra um, takes sugar. I haven't added sugar, but I feel some of you also add a bit of sugar to your coffee or honey, they're now telling me intuitively. Um, I don't drink the coffee by the way in case some of you are wondering because I'm trying to channel your energy as a collective as I make it. If I were reading for someone else I'd ask them to drink it and then I'd obviously read um, the remains in the cup. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Also, I must thank Michelle for this beautiful new cup here that she gifted me from my Amazon wish list with the birds on. It's so beautiful. Um, so thank you so much, Michelle. Um, I think you're a Libra, actually. I'm just getting that intuitively. So hopefully you're watching this reading and will hear this. Um, if any of you would like to donate a teacup, I have a few on my Amazon wish list. Um, so, you know, anything that's donated by you is very much appreciated. It is noted. And, you know, think of it as an energy exchange as well, which I think is quite nice. So, before we begin and look in the cup, you might have noticed I've got some Lenormand cards here. And I'm doing this like a past, present, future reading as well. So the cards that came out for the past, we got the tree, which is all about personal growth, health, reflection. So I feel a lot of you have really grown spiritually. You might be looking after your health more. You might have really reflected on your past to now. Um, things you've been through. Definitely getting the mind coming through here. A lot of reflection. Now obviously Libra, you're an air sign. I'm a Libra as well, so I know we do a lot of thinking. Um, but maybe some of you also have tried to um, like reduce that a little bit and focus more on meditation as well. To be more at peace. That's the energy I'm feeling here. So present energy, we've got the owls. So this is about communication, um, intuition and wisdom. So some of you now, I feel you've grown wiser as a result of this journey, you know, that you're on, spiritual journey. Um, this could be someone around you, you're communicating with at the moment, maybe someone new in your life here. Um, nothing major coming through. I'm getting some of you, you, you might be socialising more, meeting more people at the moment. Maybe some of you are randomly meeting people and you're feeling you really click with those people. So they'll be your soul family. Especially if you've let go of karmic connections as well. That's generally sort of what happens. Some of you have been manifesting new connections, I feel. Then the future, we've got the child, which is all about a new beginning. Innocence, you know, going back to that childlike way of thinking. Transformation with the butterflies. Now again, linking to the connections, this could be a friend, a new friend that some of you make here. 
with many butterflies, I'm seeing, again, like a community. So it could be through your community, through some sort of group. Um, curiosity, I'm feeling here, and learning as well. So some of you might be curious about starting something new, because it's all about a new beginning. Learning something new. So going to you know college or school. Um, learning a new skill, either for work or just for, for pleasure. I'm definitely getting nature coming through, so it could be some sort of nature group where you learn about nature a lot on walks, I'm seeing here. Um, I'm also getting photography, like photography group, something creative for some of you, I'm feeling. Okay, so we'll come back to the cards later. Um, we'll see what now comes out in the coffee. So the first thing I'm seeing, which is more your sort of present energy, is, I'm actually channeling it now, wow, quite a heavy energy here. Um, a blocked heart chakra for some of you. So this could be, you know, where the tree links, where you've been learning and growing from pain and from things from the past. And I'm feeling with that some confusion. Um, I'm seeing like a dark cloud, but that cloud is passing. You will see clearly. Um, now that could also link to the owls here, because this could also show gossip, chit chat. Maybe there are energies around you who are confusing you. So trust your intuition, Libra. I'm seeing the initial C for cat and A in particular. Yeah, I'm also seeing a bird. So some of you will free yourselves from this energy. Now this, okay, they're also now telling me this can be chit-chat in your mind. Overthinking, as I was saying before. That's what some of you want to free yourselves from. And I'm feeling the guidance here for some of you is to find something that helps you pass time, you know, enjoy yourself, so you're in the moment and no longer sort of in your mind, you know? Because mindfulness doesn't have to just be meditating, you know, doing something like sewing means you're very much in the moment, you're focused on that thing at that time and that means you're letting go of everything else that you're trying to manifest. And that's actually when you manifest it more, <laughs> ironically. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing two potential paths here that some of you could take. So maybe you're making a decision at this time. I'm definitely seeing things happening behind the scenes. Divine intervention here in your life. And I'm feeling the divine is bringing opportunities your way and signs as well. So look out for those. I'm seeing in particular like a wish fulfillment, more into the future um, here in your energy, a blessing, a gift coming your way. So it could be a job, could be a person, friend, as we had before. Um, abundance, finances improving. 
I'm feeling here for some of you. And for some of you, this new beginning could be you starting out on your own. This, is, this could be what you're thinking about doing. Quitting a job, starting a new project or business. And spirits telling you, you know, you will be abundant if you're worried about that. Maybe that's why you're in your, in your head a lot. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm actually channeling reluctance here and nervous energy suddenly for some of you in terms of a decision. I'm seeing healing in your future. Um, positive, yeah, positive energy. I'm seeing, wow, I'm seeing the number eight right down the bottom. I mean, I don't know if any of you can see that. You might see things in the cup, by the way, intuitively, you know, things that jump out at you. So trust your intuition. Now, eight is about abundance. It's also the infinity symbol. So for some of you, there is love there in the more distant future, um, infinite love. Some of you also are feeling some of you want to move or travel. So again, that could link to the child, you know, that childlike wonder, wanting new experiences, adventure. I'm seeing a ship. Um, so it could be that you're thinking about going on a cruise or going on a ship somewhere overseas. Now the ship could also indicate your ships coming in, which I'm seeing here with the abundance. Also getting the initial P coming through. Wow, okay, we've got number seven um, in the cup. I'm not sure if you can see it. Just there. And we've also got 11. That's amazing. So 11 is about your divine path, yeah. So those of you choosing which direction to go in, you're being guided on your divine path. with seven, very spiritual number there. It's also the number of the chariot, yeah, which is about forward movement, victory, success, overcoming obstacles. Wow. Some of you might be seeing seven a lot, um, double seven, triple seven, 1111, 111, you know, 111 would definitely be indicating a new beginning. Some of you, okay, some of you here feel a bit alone. Take what resonates, by the way, with these messages, because this is for the collective, obviously. You feel a bit alone. It's like you want to be seen or heard. And you feel that you're not. So the guidance there is to just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You will have success. Um, I'm also seeing an angel here around you. Could be giving you signs, maybe feathers. So look out for signs, Libra. I'm seeing that some of you do work where you're sitting down. Um, okay, I'm seeing tools. So yeah, things you do with your hands. I'm definitely getting a creative energy coming through here. Some of you work in music. 
Some of you might make craft items, jewellery, sewing. Yeah, it's interesting, sewing came out before. I'm definitely getting an energy of using your hands. And again, this could be something you're thinking about starting, you know, this new venture here. You're wondering about whether to branch out and put yourself out there. Or maybe you have put yourself out there and that's where you feel you're not being seen. So spirit here is telling you, they're giving you signs, first of all. So pay attention to those signs. But Spirit's saying, think of ways you can get yourself out there. More so, you know, like advertising, social media, social networks, um, groups, online, you know, social media groups. And things will shift as a result. So obviously, you know, you've got to work with the universe sort of get yourself out there and they'll do the rest they'll help bring people to you who need to come to you at that time i'm also seeing a fish right down the bottom um again not sure if you can see these symbols but that's a sign of abundance which is linked to this skill this seems to be the main theme of this reading, I feel. Starting afresh, branching out. I'm going to pull a few more Lenormand here now for any other messages. Wow, okay, so they've all come out for the past. Okay, so we've got an ending here, potentially, that happened in your past. Um, matters of the heart. So someone here who maybe cut it, cut it off with you, cut off a relationship, you know, broke it off. Um, you had to be very strong as you went through that, and it was part of your spiritual growth. If some of you are wondering why that happened. So you became single for some of you. And if it's not a love relationship, it could be a karmic relationship, which I was feeling before actually, wasn't I? Um, or a karmic situation that was quite heavy. So a lot of you put that to rest. Wow, they're flying out at the moment. Um, yeah, I feel this is also your past energy. It was, it was quite difficult. There was conflict. Now, as I said in the cup, I was seeing for some of you that's present energy. So take what resonates here. Something quite difficult, um, painful. And we've got 11 on that card. So yeah, it was, it was part of your spiritual journey to go through that so you could come out the other side. Okay, this one. And the fox. Wow, yeah, very heavy energy here. Some deception, manipulation potentially. that happened I noticed a bird I was seeing a bird in the cup so this also could be present energy some of you here are making a decision trying to be clever um, in the way you do this make this move in terms of flying free and it's interesting we got the ship and I saw the ship in the cup so movement again. If 
For some of you, this could be linked to the, the chatter, mental chatter, um, where you might have been deceiving yourself. All this negative thinking, you know, that comes through for some of you that keeps you stuck. Wow, but you've got the clover for your future energy with that new beginning, balance in your life, a positive turn of events. This is the gift I was seeing coming in for some of you from the universe, something unexpected. You know, it's all about abundance, which is what I saw in your future energy. I saw you receiving abundance um, as you start this new fresh chapter so whatever that links to you know whether it's a new you starting something new doing something differently thinking in a different way that's when you're rewarded wow libra okay this is um really special one i feel so it's interesting i saw some of these in the in the cup we didn't get the fish come out but anyway anything else you want me to show libra I'm definitely seeing an energy here um, in your near future who comes into your life. This is quite a prominent energy in the cup. And it's really interesting, I'm seeing it as the person's face. Um, not sure if any of you can see this, but it's actually like the shape of a heart. So this could be, again, this new person coming into your life, someone very loving. For some of you, it is a love connection, um, very spiritual connection. For some of you, it is new. Um, for some of you, it's a past life soulmate, twin flame. You might have met them before. They're just telling me growth. Growth, yeah, a lot of you have grown a lot. And you're, con you're going to continue to grow and flourish. I'm also getting the initial T. More sort of in the future here. This person, let's go back to this energy. Yeah, they're asking me to go back to it. This person, okay, that's why they said grow. Okay, sorry everyone. When I'm channeling, sometimes it takes a while for the messages to come through. Um, yeah, this person has grown a lot. That's why they said that. Um, they've been through a lot as have you, Libra. You might have been through similar things. They've been ascending, spiritually awakening. So for some of you, this is a twin flame connection and you've both been through similar things on the journey. I'm seeing that you and this person may work together or just grow, you know, grow together. Grow something together where you have this abundance. This is your mission, I feel. Yeah, spiritual work is coming out here as well. 
for some of you. So it's like you, I'm seeing three. So like you, your person and the divine, you know, co-creating. For some of you, this could be starting a family in the future. If that's what you desire or bringing families together. It won't be for all of you, obviously. I'm really getting north, east. As a direction, some of you are thinking about moving, and I just keep feeling northeast for some of you, or where you're thinking about travelling. Um, that's quite specific, so it won't be for all of you. Okay, I'm getting computer games here as well. Some of you love playing computer games in your spare time. Could be a link here to this new venture. Maybe it's something around computer games. I know some people do streaming, don't they, of themselves playing computer games. Um, that's a niche. It's definitely a niche. They're really highlighting that. For some of you, it's a niche. Um, in terms of this, you know, whatever it is that you do. Yeah, I'm seeing other things like a cafe, I'm seeing a milkshake. <laughs> so um, whether you're, you love milkshake for some of you, or again, you're thinking about some sort of venture creating drinks, milkshakes, a cafe. Quite adventurous energy that I'm feeling here, um, which really links with the child that came out. Wonderful, Libra. Yeah, I'm also seeing a rabbit, symbol of, of good luck, like the clover, so this is quite a positive, auspicious time for a lot of you, I would say, Libra. So claim it, if this is yours. Let's pull a few charms then to finish. So we've got the peace symbol, finding peace which I feel links with the mind that came through before, finding ways to feel peaceful. Um, you know, within. And this is quite amazing. We've got the aeroplane, which links again with the travel that I was feeling. Some of you really have the urge to travel, see new places have an adventure. This can also be a sign of ascension, growth that, that came through. And the shoe as well is a symbol of taking that step. You're being guided to do that. Take that first step in terms of whatever, whatever this is that you're thinking about doing. Traveling, starting a new project, new skill, you know, learning a new skill. Because um, unless you do it, you never know what opportunities could come in for you. Spirit's really highlighting that. You know, if you stay where you are in your mind thinking, I'm getting procrastination, that's where you stay and opportunities will pass you by. What's meant for you will not pass you by, you'll get there in the end, but you've got to sort of take that step forward on this new path, clearly, that's coming out here. Okay, Libra, I'll leave it there. I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Let us know in the comments what you think, if anything resonated. Please do 
hit the like button as well. Thank you so much for all your support. Peace, love and light to you all.